Hello, everybody, and welcome to HighSchoolSportsCaravan.com as we get you ready for game day here. Week number four on the docket, and we will have Ledoux taking on Parkway Central, and joining me is Parkway Central's head coach, Mark Goldenberg. And, Goldie, it, it, it's been a year that I know week one you wanted to forget, but your kids learned from it, but you've really bounced back over the last couple of weeks, 2-1 and one going into the Ledoux matchup. Uh, yes, we actually, instead of forget, we'd like to try that one again, but you don't get that opportunity. You know, you only get uh, 10 games guaranteed, so uh, we feel like that was one that we'd like to have back, but hopefully we have learned and continue to grow over the next couple weeks. A lot of young kids dotting the roster for you. A lot of kids that were on the state team last year that made it down to the Dome but didn't get a lot of playing time. How do you think that experience and coupled with the first three games has made them grow up a little bit? I think the first three games helped them more than just uh, riding along. So, um, you know, we do have some kids that did play for us last year and they've been good as far as leadership goes. Um, but the other kids, it just, there's no, there's no substitute for being in there and playing at the varsity level at the varsity speed. So we're learning. Let's talk a little bit about some of those veterans. Obviously, you got the big man in the backfield back that's uh, once again doing some great things for you. Yeah, Michael Slater um, is a special athlete with his size and speed and, and, and hands. Uh, he does special things. Um, he's been nicked up a little bit, so he has not been completely 100%. So we still look for bigger and better things out of him as the year goes on. And then obviously a new, uh, new man at the helm running the uh, quarterback controls for you. I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's new, but he's been around the program for an awful long time. Uh, you might as well tell everybody who he is. I, I think it's a son or something like that. He's the best-looking quarterback <laughs> I've ever had. Uh, yeah, my son Mitchell is our quarterback, um, but he's just a sophomore, so he is going through growing pains. But I'm very proud of where he is at this point and um, think there will be big things as we go. You know, let's real quick, and it's always fun because I've had a chance to talk to a lot of dads that are coaches and their sons play for them. Are, are, how, how is that dynamic between you and Mitchell when you're away from school, away from the practice field? Is it kind of, okay, we're leaving that stuff at school and we're home now, we're not going to talk much football? Well, most of the time, unless we're watching film, he likes to watch film and, um, you know, is is eager enough to do it with me so we can critique things and look at things and look for things in the future. So one of his best attributes is his knowledge and, and knowledge of the game and knowledge of our offense and things like that. So that has helped him tremendously. But there are definitely times where we want to put football aside and just be uh, family. Outstanding. And defensively, once again, you know, the Summit game, I think, you know, you learned from it. But really, the defense over the last couple of games has uh, played extremely well for you. Uh, the defense in the Summit game was very, very good as well. We've had some, uh, some, some hiccups along the line, but, so but very, very solid on the defensive end. Who are some of those kids on the defensive side we're going to hear a lot about? Um, our, our probably two of our best players are seniors, Tommy Payne, who plays left defensive end for us, number 83. Um, he was a big part of last year's team and has just his desire and grit and work ethic is unbelievable. And then uh, inside linebacker along with Michael Slater is, is um, Daniel Berkey who um, plays fullback for us as well and brings a lot of experience and uh, as well as talent uh, that that have helped us tremendously. Ledoux coming in uh, on Friday night. Obviously, Mike Tarpey's done a fantastic job with that program over the last couple of years, and you guys have had a couple dog fights in the last couple of years. Yes, we've played, uh, you know, this is, they're new in our conference, but they're not new to our schedule. So uh, I think this will be the fifth year in a row that we have played Ledoux, and they are always extremely well coached and um, very athletic. So uh, they have lots of athletes all over the field. So it's a, definitely a challenge, and hopefully a challenge we're ready for. Talk a little bit about the new conference, and it, it, it's been, I don't know, mixed emotions, lukewarm. I know a lot of folks miss some of the normal rivalries, but there's some new rivalries, and, and you guys have had Ledoux on the schedule, but now it's a conference game. What's your feelings about the new conference setup? Well, it's interesting because Ledoux has been our opening game for the last four years, and now all of a sudden it's a conference game. And it is week four, but it still feels like early in the season. 
but you know it's conference time and that is always uh you know important to us as conference and as we get into district so um it'll be interesting you know it's it's you, it's you can't build a rivalry in the future so i do believe that we'll have a very good rivalry with them and um they're a great team and a, and and have been for a long time so i think it will be a, a rival um for as long as we're in the conference are we going to get a friday night in the weather we don't have heat lightning storms i mean the first three weeks have just been unbelievable and i know nightmarish for you guys as coaches and not just on friday and during the week as well trying to get practice in between heat and lightning and uh sports that are supposed to be inside it is very it has been a very trying year and for our new athletic director god bless him he doesn't realize that this is new this doesn't happen every single year it's been crazy Absolutely, Goldie. Well, it's always great talking to you. Looking forward to uh, streaming a game tomorrow night on TV, and uh, it's always great to hang out with you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Mark Goldenberg joins us here on the website. We'll be able to have the game for you on Friday night. It'll be Ledoux traveling over to Parkway Central. All the action on TV.